take two. Um, we never re-record anything except the, the memory card shit out. We got almost to the end of this video, and uh, and the memory card said cannot record and corrupted that file. And we couldn't get it anymore, which really sucks because uh, I had to slam on the brakes once to miss turkeys. I thought that was a good part of the video. Oh, yeah. um, so we almost hit turkeys. Um, but anyway, here we are. Uh, Adam's here um, on our second ever uh, question and answer session. Third, Cody, third. Third? Yeah, we did one on the way to Blizzard Bash, we did one on the way back. That was all the same questions, though. If you guys follow the One Goose Garage Facebook page, you see last night I decided it was a great idea um, to do this thing. So what the hell? Here we are. Some of you posted some questions. Adam's got them back there so that I don't have to try to read them and drive. I mean, I'm already drinking, so I shouldn't be drinking, reading, and driving. Because you might hit a bump and spill your beer. That's right. We can't do that. All right, Adam, what do you got? First one. Why don't carburetor lives matter? As in semi-stock midsize. It's probably a good thing that we uh, <laughs> we lost the file. I got a little, uh, I might have got a little carried away with this question in the last one. Um, just so you guys know, there's going to be some skips in this video because we had the corrupted file. I'm going to have our camera woman. Uh, cheese stick. It was, <laughs> it's not a cheese stick this time, holding the camera. Um, I'm going to have her stop after each question, um, so you might get some some skips in the video here. But I just don't want to lose the file again after we get all the way if through. If we the crash, damage. we might shut it off for a second. And if we crash, yeah, we'll show you the damage. Um, why don't carburetor lives matter? Um, I have discussed this on video before, but I will do it again because I still love you guys. Lots of reasons. Um, first one, psychology of it. In that video, we had to read it. What? I see, you said we discussed this on videos before, and I said, yeah, in that video, we had to read it. <laughs> well, yeah, that one too. Um, but a big part of it is psychology. Obviously, we are big into pushing towards new people into the sport because we've drove a lot of people away from the sport with it getting too expensive and you got to spend so much money to compete and every promoter is letting you get away with murder and the rules are getting more and more crazy and all this shit so we're we've really been pushing to try to get new drivers in and if a new driver looks at top of a 3100 engine first off doesn't have shit for mechanical skills he's learning from trying to watch a couple idiots on youtube um Yes, we are those idiots. Um, he's going to look at $700 worth of shit sitting on top of an engine that he doesn't know anything about. And maybe he's got some money that he wants to throw around because he wants to be that wallet warrior and he thinks if he buys $700 worth of shit, then poof, suddenly he's going to win every show he goes to. We just don't want that kind of mentality. We don't want people to feel like that's what it takes. And uh, the, the, the vibe in that particular build style it's guys selling out every year because they can't get their shit running right it's guys that are oh if you don't want me to run i'll just go run somewhere else rah, rah, rah. you know that kind of it, it's not a mentality that we want at our shows um we want fun and that is the biggest compliment that we get at our shows is guys are hitting hard guys are having fun everybody's smiling everybody's shaking hands everybody's having a good time and we want it to stay that way and the guys that build for our shows want to work with us and like our rules and the, if anything I feel like I went too far with them this year. Adam, I remember you had two cents in the last video. You still got those two cents? <laughs> sure. Um, I don't know. A lot of it to me is safety. If you don't know what you're doing and you go and you put a carb on your engine, not only could you just be ruining your engine, um, could cause a pretty big fire hazard too. There's a lot of moving parts. You really got to know what you're doing whenever you want to do carb swaps. It's not quite as easy as everyone thinks. And to me, I like the challenge. I personally think it's tougher to leave a stock wiring harness on your 3100 and leave it fuel injected and come out and win a show. I really do. I think there's more challenge in that than going to a simplified and throwing a carb on top and saying, now I eliminated all the variables getting put out. Let's go run it. So. I don't know. A lot of the guys, like Cody said, that want to run those setups, that's perfectly fine. We just really enjoy seeing a lot of new faces and getting new people into the sport. And getting other kinds of cars yeah, out there. Yeah, exactly. All kinds Embrace of the future. Like wiring is your future. Wire, wiring is your future. <laughs> Next question. 
Any updates from Marsfield? Yes. Um, kind of. Ooh, um, that's cool. Um, as of right now, everything with Marshfield cleanup show in October is a go. Um, right now, guys, I am planning on nine classes at that show, which is absolutely insanity. Maybe more. I don't know. Um, you can have carburetors at that show. Hey, yeah, you can bring a carburetor <laughs> to that show. Um, it is a cleanup show. We allow them there. Um, as of right now, it's a go. They really want to have it. They are bleeding money um, with everything getting canceled. They have no way of generating revenue. Um, they would love to have the show. Obviously, if if an hour before showtime the health department says no, then it's a no. But as of right now, it is going on as scheduled. Next question. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Adam, I remember this one being your question. Right? Yeah, why isn't Adam a bigger part of the channel anymore? You guys are my number one favorite channel on YouTube. Love all the content. Keep the videos coming. Would love to meet you all one day. Well, thank you very much for saying that we are your number one favorite. I hope there were others number one's favorites as well. You guys got to keep in mind, we have a ton of things going outside of just the videos. Uh, and a lot of times they're shot, you know, several weeks ahead of time and we were heavy into the builds together on a lot of our original builds that you saw you know it could have been a month or two before you actually got to see it that car could have been built smashed ran and already in the junkyard and you're just now seeing the build video uh, with the stupid virus things and all that stuff going on cody was able to shoot video as much as humanly possible out in his shop and i wasn't able to be there for a lot of it you know i had certain things that i've got going on as well too and I think we both just had to find ways to get into some other really cool stuff. You know, I started doing a lot more with the RC cars. I've been building my 49 Ford. Uh, Cody's doing a lot more of the Enduro stuff. So we're finding things outside of just the Demolition Derby world that we can also work on to help keep content going. But we started this as a Demolition Derby page with a lot of good information. We want to make sure that you guys accept things that are outside the box and uh, an occasional, hey, look, what we're doing dumb stupid fun on something else today so i'll be in there uh, more videos just a lot of stuff going on for everybody right now it's just crazy so we'll be there and the number of videos in general guys has dropped drastically because there's just only so much stuff we can film i'm yeah. then honestly the motivation's kind of shitty when there's other stuff we can do what you guys heard me talk about in the last video it's not the last, but shut up, Adam. <laughs> Not the one that got deleted. Um, the video that went up today. It's it's tough to find motivation when you don't know if every freaking show you're trying to build is going to get canceled. And you're always welcome to come meet us. Uh, we'll apologize right now in advance. We probably don't know who you are because we have so many people that come up to us. We try to let you guys know what shows we're going to, where we're going to be at always feel free to stop by and say hi i at least try to carry a pocket full of uh stickers or patches or something we can give away for free uh if you've happened to find us we gave a kid our hoodie and signed it once at uh at the blizzard bash that one year that was pretty yeah. cool too <laughs> love to see the fans um again it's not personal if we don't know who you are or don't remember your name we just meet a, a whole lot of people but oh yeah more than welcome it's always a party around me and cody just ask the camera lady <laughs> Next one. If a derby guy buys a car and Bobby! it's not posted on Facebook or Snapchat, did he actually buy the car, Cody? Well, no. No. Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. Um, yeah, of course it still happened, but you just don't get to learn about it until he shows up at the show. Yeah. Granted, the guy that asked that question, he's just ain't building anything anymore but you know that's beside the point he just got all the coolest cars in the world and doesn't build any of them um but no everybody wants everything to be on youtube facebook snapchat TikTok, twitter instagram all those things that, that. What? what did you say <laughs> Shh. um uh, only you bobby only you we love you next question where are you going <laughs> Well, unfortunately, it'll be too late by the time you see this, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Hayward, Wisconsin. That's the Sawyer County Fair. We are hosting as One Goose Promotions. That's, that's Sawyer for us folks that are from up yeah, here. Sawyer. Sa Sawyer from the southern Put folks. it in your bag and talk about it later. <laughs> 
Sawyer County Fair. I don't even know if I said it right the second time. Yes. The Dirt Dash. So this is where we race demolition derby cars around in a circle for a few laps. We have heats. We for a thousand dollars. For a thousand dollars to win. That's pretty sweet. Uh, it's a small track. It's a lot of action. Short pack fun. After that this year, we're actually going to do a pursuit race. Um, and one of our other favorite EVE events, Forwards Backwards Race. So if anybody that was in the racing can also race in those two sports. We pay out top three, I believe it is, in those as well. Yep. And then we're going to throw together one big demolition derby at the end. If your car is still running and you want to have a good time, and it's built to our front wheel drive rules, or there's enough cars that don't meet that specification, and there's want to be their own little class, we're going to have a couple heats of demolition derby at the end for, yet yeah, again, money, probably trophies, handshakes yep. for sure. Yep. So. This is going to be a pretty sweet little event. Hayward, we're very excited for it. It's different. It's different than anything we normally do. It's our escape from the Derby only world for the weekend. So we're headed up now on the Saturday, two day event to get everything wrapped up. And Their dash isn't a two day event. We're just making it a two day event. We're going up to the fair and we're going to drink some beer and watch a rodeo and get to know some of the locals and be dumb, stupid fun tomorrow. Next question, Cody. How does someone become a part of the One Goose family? All right. I knew Adam was going to make me uh, answer this one. This is exactly where the camera died on the last one, so maybe it thought I was being a dick. I don't know. Um, but I'm not trying to. Um, the real simple answer is you don't. I mean, the, the, the family that we have now is, is pretty tight. Um, especially as side as the promotions side of things. Um, I try to keep my crew very small. Um, I do not like switching people in and out um, because there is a certain level of trust that you have to have with, um, with the people that are around you. Um, I got knocked off the blocks in Marshfield, a very bonehead moment, and I would have yelled at any of my guys if they let it happen to them. Um, but everybody was right there, everybody saw it, everybody's paying attention. Um, I've seen flag guys that just, and not saying, I don't, I'm not even sure who posted the question, I'm not sure if you've ever been on the blocks or done any that kind of flag, but I know you have probably seen there's plenty of guys that are holding those flags, got their head up their ass, and I know that we don't have that with our guys. I've got a couple fill-ins for when, you know, one of these guys is busy with something, but we, we try to keep it a, a very tight, um, that said, derby side of things, when we're running, I'll run with anybody. So, I mean, it, it, it's demolition derby. We're all one big damn family. So, um, I'm, I'm pretty easy to find. If you ever want to come hang out in derby ring, come hang out. Next question. Will guys plan on going... Oh, will you guys... Will you guys... Us. Use guys. Will you guys <laughs> plan on going to San Filippo Smash? in Morris, New York in the future? Yes, Cody. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm answering all the questions? You got all the answers. <laughs> that's bullshit. I'm just better <laughs> at making them up. Um, Cody's a driver every time, so that's kind of up to him. <laughs> oh, that's true. Um, I'm not allowed to drive. Yeah. Adam's driving scares me. For government regulations. <laughs> um, yeah, I would love to. Um, and that's, that's a show I get asked to come out to quite a bit. Um, I think Zach was planning on running this year, but border's closed, so he's not allowed to. Um, I'd really like to meet Zach, um, so I would probably try to make a trip out there, especially if he was going to be there. Um, Zach's workshop, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm assuming if you watch us, you watch him, because he's a lot bigger deal than we are. Um, I would like to run against him sometime, I think that'd be cool. Um, and obviously that shows for a great cause. Um, I would like to. Um, but guys, it's a long fucking ways away, so it would have to be something that is planned for. It certainly won't be this year, um, but a bucket list show for, for sure. It's definitely something I would like to run. I would really like to run that sports car class they're doing this year. That show is almost 17 hours away from where we're at right now, and we're almost three hours away from home, so that's a 20-hour drive. No, we're going the opposite way. So it's even further away than what I said. <laughs> so no, it'd be like a 15 hour drive then? What'd you say it was, 17? To New York? Yeah, 17 from here. Yeah, right now we're driving the other way though. So if we go back home, we're gonna be two hours closer. Well, if we drive back home and load up our stuff and then head to New York, it'll be 
a little over 17. <laughs> yeah. to get there. Uh, no, we're not going today. <laughs> oh, Christ. All right, next question. <laughs> Any chance for more full-size classes like semi-stock or modified? Yes, I will let Cody finish this question, but I can tell you right off the bat, yeah, we've actually, a lot of our shows that got canceled this year were based around full-size rules that would fit that. So, Cody, tell them a little bit about what we got going on there. I mean, the plan was for the for semi-stock rules at Oshkosh, and then the plan was for our normal rules for the team show in Anangle, and our plan was Bobby's bone stock full-size um, for Marshfield. All those shows got canceled. Um, yeah, it's certainly possible. Modified? No. Probably. I don't see the our regular full-size rules ever getting anything past what they are now. Not um, doing kickers, full mods, any of that. Yeah, the, the, I'm sorry, but the pro stuff's just... The, the five-foot type of classes are just... To make those guys happy is damn near impossible, and then you end up spending a ton of money to get four of them to show up. I mean, I wish there was more of them out there. They're a cool side type of thing. But unless a sponsor comes forward and says, I want to see a five-foot class, and I'll give you this much money to put it on, uh, it's, it's not something that I can justify paying for to have to pay a thousand, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred dollars to win for four, five, seven cars to show up and then have 40 gut and go cars show up like we had at Marshfield. Good enough. Next question. This comes from our wonderful buddy Ray Scott. Oh god. <laughs> I know this question. So after I censor out all the other words, here let's see if I can no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Would you entertain a call out of a team show to against you guys at once of your shows? That sounds provocative. <laughs> right. Uh, we love team stuff. Absolutely. Um I unfortunately in my current situation, I'm not able to drive at the moment with the heart conditions and stuff. So if you could get Cody and Jake to do that, they might come after you uh, just for fun. We also have talked about adding some like grudge matches to a lot of our shows. Just uh, allow for like a pre-sign up thing. If you want to call somebody out, throw a hundred bucks on the table and they say, yeah, we accept. They throw a hundred bucks on the table. You guys decide the rules and winner takes all. I think we could get into something real fun like that, but we haven't got anything in the works currently just because this year's schedule is so screwed up already. So, uh, long story short, yeah, you want you want uh, you want something like that? I I can't say no to a call out from anybody. Oh, right. But uh, obviously, if if you're you're hitting at uh, at you and Tony wanting to come run against me and Adam, uh, we can't do that because Adam's got to get his his health stuff sorted. Um, this is not a place to pee. This is a place to turn around because I missed a turn. Oh, okay. Um, it, I'm sure I could find a partner though if, if you're wanting to do something like that, but it would have to be at the end of one of our shows because if uh, if me, you, and and uh, Tony and uh, anybody that I'm that I can find that's dumb enough to come run with me are on the track at the same time together, um, that's going to be one hell of a show and. <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to, I'm not going to want to jump up on the blocks after doing something like that. It's a coyote. Oh, did you just whistle at it? Yeah, it works. It gets them right out of the road. <laughs> so, who knows? I'm, I'm open to anything. Last question. Any four-man team shows a possibility? Yes. We actually had that on our schedule, too, for this year, as well as our original kickoff in Anigo, which I think it was two-man teams, yep. several teams at a time. We are looking at doing some uh, team formats for shows. We both have been to Blizzard Bash. We absolutely love how that all works out down there. It's neat. It's organized. Uh, teams are a lot of fun. You know, it, it's not just one guy out there sandbagging. If you're a different color, you got four people coming after you at all times. So that's a lot of fun with the team shows. We, I think we are going to try to work some of that in the mix. We tried this year. Didn't work, unfortunately with cancellation so hopefully next year we can try to start squeezing that in and build up on it from there. Cody anything to add to that? Um, April or April, June kickoff um, first crash first bash first bash um, 
will have a team aspect to it, but I do think I'm going to change the format for what it was this year. Um, and uh, four-man midsize, if that's what you're hitting at there, Red, um, that might be possible. Last question! <laughs> oh, going in at the same time! <laughs> wow, that wasn't planned. Oh, God. Oh. I'm going to read it just like Brian said it. When you coming out with One Goose merch? Oh. That's a great question. We have, kind of. What, what are you we, looking at, down there? <laughs> we just suck. Your merch? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, hey. <laughs> we have One Goose merch. We've we had just, One Goose merch for a long time. We just suck at keeping uh, it in stock. We got hats, we got wristbands, we got t-shirts, we got hoodies, we got long sleeve shirts. We've got all kinds of stuff, stickers and everything. Um, we are working on adding that from Facebook to the actual web page. So you can go to www.onegoosegarage.com and you can buy anything you want that we have listed on there. Uh, it may take us a few days now to get that added, the new stuff on there, but if that's something you guys are looking to purchase, I'll go get it added on the website as quick as possible. Uh, check back on Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. I should be able to have that stuff up by then. Uh, give us an order we'll shoot it out in the mail it'll come to you and sometimes we have stuff on us at the show so you can always run up and and ask and sometimes i give away free shit so it may not be what you want but if it's in my pocket sometimes i give away so yes one goose merch it exists we're always wearing it yeah we are always wearing it so um i think that's it right we said oh yeah we both said last question so um that would mean that's probably the last question um hope you guys enjoyed it uh sorry with the little cut in cut out part but uh, we actually didn't have to redo any of these pieces, so that's good. The memory card apparently decided it wanted to cooperate with us. Um, I don't know how good my, my cameraman is at this last part of the video, but it's we'll like see. like taxi cab confession. We appreciate you following along as always. Get goofed!